most, it's just a dream. But this man made it a reality. For more than two years, he beat the house with the help of electronic equipment hidden in his underwear. He says he did it because casinos stack the odds against the average gambler. Psychologically, they, they gear everything toward separating uh, the, all the, the old ladies from Kansas, uh, separating them from their money. Uh, just the way they apply them with drinks, with all the noise, no windows in the casinos, no clocks, pure oxygen pumped into the uh, system to keep people awake and so they can keep gambling. Frank is a successful businessman and a professional blackjack player. He started gambling in 1975 after mastering a method known as card counting, a simple system that allows him to keep track of every card played. Card counting identifies when the player has the advantage, and by uh, recognizing that advantage when it is, you can bet more money and uh, win, you win more often with the larger bets that way. Card counting is not illegal, but casinos have the right to ban card counters from their property. That's what happened to Frank after pit bosses spotted him winning consistently. And I learned right away that the trick was, is isn't how good of a card counter you are, it's how, it's the interaction, the game with the casino, it's how getting the money off the tables and out of the casino, and not letting them know that you're winning all the time. But just how do you count cards without being noticed? Frank developed a computer program that could play mathematically perfect blackjack. All he needed was a computer small enough to sneak into a casino. Then he could even the score. I was quite upset with the casinos at the time. And uh, so I decided to go for, go for the throat. Frank spent two years and $50,000 to develop a miniature computer. Here's how it worked. The computer was taped to the body of an accomplice while Frank wore a receiver under his clothes. Once inside the casino, the accomplice stood behind Frank, watching every card he played and entering the information into a keyboard inside his pocket. In seconds, the computer sent electric impulses to Frank's body, telling him in Morris code how to bet. The first brief test of the device was an overwhelming success. $3,042, $47. Encouraged by his success, Frank planned a major sting of Las Vegas casinos a sting that was documented on film by the BBC. And what we're going to do is we're going to position ourselves around a table in such a way that Kathy and I will be playing one particular hand as the bride and groom. With the help of several friends, Frank assembled a mock wedding party that could surround a blackjack table and help to draw attention away from the person carrying the computer. After several rehearsals, the group was ready for their premiere performance. Dressed for their parts, the group gathered around a blackjack table, and it quickly became apparent that this was no ordinary wedding party. Look at all these faces! Look at all those 21! In less than 20 minutes, Frank had won more than $6,000, and his table was quickly surrounded by pit bosses and security guards. They watched with amazement as Frank, who appeared not to be counting cards, won repeatedly. They could see us grinding it out of them. They knew something was wrong. I mean, it wasn't within the odds. And uh, I thought they were going to arrest us right on the spot. As the pressure mounted, Frank gave the signal for the group to leave. It wasn't until later that they realized how much they'd won. One, two, three, four, five. Frank's winnings for the night, $18,200 in chips and cash. Over the next two years, he won much more than that until the BBC finally aired this footage in London. Casinos immediately outlawed computerized devices on their property. Frank no longer uses the device and has been banned from major casinos. Uh, the last time I won the MGM, uh, I went around and saw my picture at every blackjack table and I decided, no, I better not play there anymore. So I haven't been back there since. Retired from gambling, Frank has fond memories of the sting. He says winning the money wasn't as important as the satisfaction of beating the casinos at their own game. I mean, we feel like we're striking a, a blow for all the little people to go there and lose their vacation savings. Mm -hmm.